So, welcome to week six then of the SO6 Online League. It's Royal Ascot this week, and that means all 12 races going from the same track. So, let's have a quick look at each race then. And the first one is the Queen Anne Stakes, which is a one mile group one top rated there. Suchet for Steve Rann and Trick Play 1 million for Molly at Surfer. But remember, this season you can come straight in to grade ones and group ones as a new horse. So, one or two new ones in there. Joshua Southern has got a thing of lunacy, and Thundersparkle has got Dio Spur. So, those two could be worth keeping an eye on after that we go to the King Stan Stakes which is a 5 furlong group 1 and again the top rated horse is 118 for Thunderspark Diabolica but Cove Blue for John Morgan has won the last 2 times out so that one I'll give that one plenty to think about, 2 steps is also won twice for Steve Brown and Exocet Missile is highly rated but keeps missing their target, White Water is also a dual winner, race number 3 is the St James's Palace Stakes, so Nimbus the top rated one, 113, joined on 113 by Tuk Tuk, they, take the, they took the English and Irish guineas respectively. Thing also rated 113. Won a grade 1 handicap I believe earlier on in the season. Paul Rhodes has got a new runner. Heat Hayes making his debut and Steve Rand's got Child's Play. So those two will be thrown in the mix as well to upset the apple cart. Then the first of the two yard races is the Coventry Stakes. That's six furlongs and powerful beauty for Molly at Surfer is a top rated one in that one. Timekeeper for Django looks interesting. So too does Cryogenics for Paul Rhodes and the newcomers to keep an eye on in that one. Zoom Zoom for Joshua Sutherland, Shalar for John Morgan and River End for Thunderspark. After that we go to race five, the first handicap of the week and it's a two and a half mile handicap, the Ascot handicap stakes. Top rated there is Free Future for Daniel French. Black car for Alex Cherry was a winner two times ago. Pixley was a winner last time out and was second before that and Mighty Sun for Alex Cherry has also had a win this season as well Funky Music has got some pretty decent looking form so that looks like a wide open race and one of the lesser trainers should get a win in that one then we go to the Windsor Castle another one where some of the lower graded trainers might get a chance as it's a 0 to 90 over five furlongs Jupiter Lady top rated for Graham Clutterbuck but he fancies his other one Grey's My Colour which is rated £10 inferior so Graham Clutterbuck going to try and do an Aiden O'Brien and win it with his second string and Napolis Aid for Vinnie Gerard looks interesting winner last time out probably between them JR Ambitious though for James Wheeler was also a winner last time out the Jersey Stakes over seven furlongs is race seven that's a group three for three year olds and craft work for Steve Rann is top of the pile there with Down Under for Django just two pounds inferior the form figures for those two look very similar indeed overflow won the last two times for Hans Jones so that one could be worth looking at as well and John Morgan and Thundersmuck have both got newcomers King's Ghost and Ricochet and a quick welcome to a chap called Darren Christensen who looks like he's having his first runner with Cupid on Z. so let's hope that one goes well for him race number 8 then the Prince of Wales Stokes is a 10 furlong group 1 for 4 year olds and it was in favourite Eva Django will go off a red hot favourite for this one having won 3 of its last 4 crisis talks for Steve Rann also looks interesting so too does Glue Factory for Joshua Sutherland, Schwartz for Hans Jones, won a few races ago, and Star Material for David Robertson has won the last two races, but it does look more like a handicap, and judge on its rating, it's rated at a good £40 inferior to Favourite Year. Favourite Year will be quite a few people's banker for day one. Race number nine is the Royal Hunt Cup, and Doug will need a good stiff gin after this one because it's a big field, a 0 to 110 handicap, and some of the big names have got the top weights Thumbelina for Steve Rand, Zoltan Kimesh for Darren Thompson, Honey Spoon for David Robertson looks like he could be in with a big chance there. Serious Chills also got chances with Troublicious and going down towards the bottom. Shake Me, King Town Phillips and Yvonne Element have all won this season as well. So it could be in with a chance and so's the bottom weight Batavia. That one will be running from a mile out of the handicap. So race 10 after that one is the Flying Phillies up the five furlong straight. The Queen Mary and Master Soprano strangely named for a horse for a filly for Paul Rhodes is rated £5 better than the rest of them. Welcome to the Jungle looks the biggest danger on ratings Lunchbox Legend was a winner last time out and could be good but once again there's newcomers in there Mimble and Midnight Party for Thunderspark and John Morgan race number 11 is a Sandringham handicap another big field for this and another chance for the lower trainers to get themselves a Royal Ascot winner as it's a 0 to 90 Leon Van Rensburg's got the top weight Secret Hideaway who's only rated 82 so one or two could have got into this then above that one so maybe I'll be surprised that he's got top weight 
The main challenger on the weights looks to be Tusk, who's making his seasonal reappearance after coming back in the transfer window, a two-time winner last season. Serious Chill has got valid points. He's not very happy about his weight. Magical Place was a winner last time out. Sino at times looks to be going well as well. And there's quite a few down the bottom who look like they haven't got particularly good form. But as this is a handicap, anything could happen. You're not going to want to be drawn wide in that race as there's a turn involved. The final race then of the day is the Norfolk Stakes. And this is for two-year-olds again over five furlongs. Zoom to the moon for Joshua Sutherland. It's top rated in that one. Humongous is the only winner in the field for Paul Rhodes. And a lot of people will fancy that one. But... Look at the newcomers, Capellian for Thunderspark, Coolidge for John Morgan, Lickety Split for Steve Rand. So that one could be a wide open race. And that'll be it then. That's your day one at Royal Ascot. No fun and frolics with Doug Stew and myself. So there you go. We'll see you all tomorrow.